You talked about profiling the arrest of some of the Boko Haram suspects. How has it assisted in prosecuting the war against Boko Haram? Of course, I mean, um, getting, um, you know, those who have been involved in the, in the uh, war, talking about the terrorists themselves, uh, give you good opportunity to um, have some form of in, uh, insight into their reasoning, their modus operandi, and the locations where uh, they, you know, perpetrate their, where they plan to perpetrate the evils that uh, they've unleashed over the years. You also get a hint as to those who are likely to be behind it, uh, their source of funding, and a whole lot of other uh, intelligent uh, uh, information which, which of course, ha uh, have uh, aided us in uh, conducting our operations. The sources that we have uh, recorded, of course, is attributable to, um, in part, uh, to, uh, you know, these uh, intelligence that we have received or we've gotten from them in addition to other sources of information that, um, especially from the locals and the general public that, has, uh, that have helped us to make the inroads into um, ensuring that normalcy returns to the entire northeast. We understand that the Sambisa forest was a former military base and this is now in the public domain. Could you put that in the right perspective? Well, um, the disclosure, um, it's, it's what I, well, I do not see any reason why there has to be a disclosure of uh, certain information. Uh, you, you disclose information depending on the level of classification that you have. For us in this operation, we believe that uh, public information is, is, is key because the Nigerian um, the, the average Nigerian, and of course every Nigerian, needs to be updated as to what we're doing. He needs to have confidence. He needs to uh, be assured that um, um, the assignment, the mandate given to Operation Lafayette delay is on course and has been achieved. And so to that extent, we appreciate the enormity of, um, of, of the requirement for public information. But um, talking about uh, training camp in Sambisa Forest as it were, um, uh, there are those who of course may have that perception. But of course not until you have uh, accurate information, it will be preposterous to pass uh, um, uh, information that you have not verified to the public. Uh, but then of course it's not also impossible for people to begin to assume um, which, of course, um, is, 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 um, they, they, they are entitled to such assumptions. But, of course, after our confirmation, we came up to say, look, these are some of the materials that were recovered from these locations, which they've been using for training. And these are, um, you know, the, the, this is the setup. And I believe that uh, one of uh, my interaction with uh, the press, which you may have uh, been private to, to, to get to know, I shared uh, those information w w with, with the public. But what is important is that um, um, the information or the intelligence as it were after processing from the recoveries from that location have been quite useful. It's, it has helped us to um, realign our operations. It has helped us to uh, be more focused and uh, to also begin to address other areas that hither to uh, we, we're not uh, looking, you know, um, asymmetric warfare is a very dynamic one and the dynamism that comes with it means that on a daily basis you need to re-strategize to, um, to be able to um, um, address, uh, you know, the, the, the outcomes of, um, of everyday engagement, both on our side and of course on the side of uh, the terrorists. You are confirming that Sambisa was a former military base. Was it a former military base? No, it has never been a military base. Uh, but then, of course, there is a perception that sometime in the past, um, Sambisa Forest, as a game reserve, was once uh, reconnoitred uh, for the defunct National Guards training. That, of course, I'm not in a position to confirm because I, I was never involved in uh, such, such operations. And um, I did not see any... Um, uh, not, not, there's nothing in the forest so far that will uh, make us to begin 
to believe that such a training of military nature ever existed. But what I can tell you is that going forward, and uh, we are making plans to ensure that we turn the, the location to become a training uh, area for the Nigerian Army. Um, as you may be aware, well, we will be conducting the 2017 Nigerian Army Small Arms Championship right in the heart of Sambisa Forest. The big question is, if there is an established military connection to Sambisa Forest, why did it take so long to capture Camp Zero? There is no established military training base in Sambisa Forest. I've just mentioned to you that there, was, there is a perception, there is a thinking that in the days of the defunct National Guard, you know, National Guard, if you, if you um, know of National Guard, was um, an establishment that um, uh, during the regime of uh, General Babangida, uh, there was an idea to have those you call national guards. That, of course, had been dispensed with. There was there's no nothing like that of any any uh, of, um, anymore. And so, what you know, the perception is is that there was a place or there is a place in Sambisa Forest that was earmarked for them to conduct their training. And so because National Guard did not exist and it was, they were, it was so short-lived, I don't think that it existed even up to six months. It was just at the formative stage. So um, there is no uh, reason to believe that um, any military base existed. But what I can confirm to you is that Sambisa Forest was earmarked as a game reserve. There are structures that um, that exist in Samisa Forest, all meant for that purpose. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time. Setting the record straight on cutting the logistic supplies of the Boko Haram terrorist. Find out from the theater commander, Operations Lafayette Dole, Major General Lucky Rabo. Join us again.